most of the cases we want to sharpen our photographs but there are some examples when we need to blur some details and with portraits it's usually the background that sometimes is a bit too distracting and that's why we want to somehow um, just fade it out a bit and the best way to do that is to blur it out with the adjustment brush just like the way we use it for local sharpening we can use it for local blurring by setting the brush up with a minus 100 clarity and a minus 100 sharpness so as you can see I have these options set and then I can just simply start drawing over the background first here on the left just drawing over nicely all the details I'm going over the bricks now and then I go over these details here on the right as well so as you can see we already have a much better result let's see before and after I turn it off and I turn it on again so you can see how uh, we can focus on uh, the three little girls and not on the background by just simply blurring it out a bit this is of course something that you can achieve with a better photograph if you set the focal length and the aperture differently then you can have a much more shallow depth of field which will help you to focus on the girls and just simply blur out the background let me show you an example for that here in the catalog I have a couple of examples for instance this one where we have uh, the focus on the portrait and in the background we have blurred details or let me show you another example once again blurry background focus on the portrait the same here because we are not interested really what's happening in the background we just want the people in our photograph in focus as I said if you have a great photograph but the background is a bit too intensive or distracting you can always use this example or this technique that I just showed you a very similar technique but still a little bit different is how to create a dreamy effect with your photographs that's what I'm going to show you in the next tutorial